Hello guys, Henry here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom GUI and also how to run JavaScript in your Learn to Mod mod. So first, let's open up our IDE uh, on Chrome. Um, as you can see here, I have an empty mod uh, called GUI1. So first, let's define our main function, just like any Learn to Mod mod. We want to have a function that gets executed when the mod loads. Then let's go into the GUI category in Minecraft and pull in the blockly block called GUI. Now, this is the part where we have to do something quite fancy. Let's click the back button and exit out to our mod. And now let's create a new HTML mod. And let's just call this GUI HTML. Um, yeah, this is just called GUI HTML. So, now that the mod is created, let's go inside. Let's press code. And now let's press the edit button on the top right. Uh, as you can see here, there are a lot of default um, code and stuff inside. Uh, but let's just delete that. So now that we have our code editor set up, let's write some HTML and JavaScript code. So first, I want to set the style of the GUI. And what, a, what the style block allows you to do is write CSS code to style your GUI. So here, I'm going to write body, background, color, transparent. And this basically makes the GUI transparent and act like an HUD. It, it won't overlay any colors on top of Minecraft, and you can see right through. So you can have different GUI elements hovering um, on the player's screen. So the first GUI element we want to add in is a nice title that describes our mod. And because our mod is so cool, we're going to add um, a large heading of H1, called H1. Uh, and we're going to call our mod Cool Mod. And basically what this does is it would create a heading, a heading called Cool Mod. It will put it on the top, and it will display it all the time. So it will let our player know all the time that our mod is so cool. Um, and to, re to preview this um, GUI on the web page, we can um, type in the URL for the GUI. So that's just the URL without all the things in the back. And we can refresh um, the page. And as you can see here, it says cool mod. So that's pretty cool. But you know what's cooler than a cool mod? If we can write some JavaScript. So here, let's start by writing a job, uh, some JavaScript code. So we type script, and we type slash script to indicate a JavaScript block. And inside this JavaScript block, we can put in uh, any JavaScript code that would run on a browser. Um, for our example, you know, because I'm a very environmentally friendly person, and I don't like it when people break blocks, I'm going to say on break event. So this is a function um, that gets called when a block is broken. And you know, because I'm so environmentally friendly, uh, when a block breaks in Minecraft, I become very unhappy, and I, I, I would change the title. So I would do document dot get element by ID, and let's get it by let's get the title. So the ID of the element has to be title, and let's set the inner HTML to equal to not cool mod. You know, because when you break some grass blocks, you're you know destroying the environment. So this mod would tell you you're not cool. Um, and inside H1, we're going to have to set the ID to equal to title. And this way, um, this basically allows JavaScript to identify and find everything in the document with the, with the ID called title. And then set the inside of the HTML. So inside these two tags, it will set it to not cool mod. And we can test this out in our web page. If we invoke the function on break event. And we're going to just put nothing inside the parameter. It will change the title from cool mod to not cool mod. Now, in order for this GUI to be loaded in Minecraft, we have to go back to our mod and make sure we set the GUI to the correct URL. So let's go back to the mod we created just now. And let's copy this URL here. And let's paste it right here in the GUI. And now the mod will be able to load this web page uh, in Minecraft. OK, now that Minecraft has launched, let's enter our world 
and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we have our GUI here, a cool mod, and that's pretty cool because we have just written an HTML um, GUI and rendered it right inside Minecraft. And you can do a lot of cool things with this. You can create custom, uh, you know, custom panels, um, some HUD displays. You can make it look like Iron Man inside a suit. Um, all those cool things. But the coolest part about this is that you can run JavaScript code on it. And with JavaScript, you can do so many different things. For example, as we have written just now, uh, when we break a block, the title mm. on top is going to change. So let me just try this out. Break block. And bam, the title changed to not cool mod. So, you know, we're being environmentally unfriendly here. We're breaking, you know, a grass block. Of course, um, now the mod's going to tell us that we're not cool. Uh, but but we know we're cool people because we've just written you know JavaScript that runs in Minecraft. Um, mm. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions about writing an HTML GUI or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you stay tuned because we have a lot more cool features to come in Learn to Mod.